Hello everyone, I'm Serum Beliefs, and welcome to The Stomping Land, which is an open world survival player versus player game. Now, I'll go over a lot of basics about how to craft and also about what you're able to do in this game. First off, you can join a tribe. Now, a tribe will let you see other players' names, and you can also track how many kills that you've had in terms of how many dinosaurs and people. Now, from that point, you can also kill dinosaurs for their meat, or you can also potentially tame them and ride on their back. Now, I'll go over that later too. But for the moment, I'll teach you how to craft. So there's a variety of items that you're able to make and even buildings. I'll begin with weapons. Now over here I have my spear. Every item in this game requires a certain amount of items, which makes sense, right? So we have stone. Now to gather stone you just hit it like that, and then you can drop it with E. Now to make a box as I have all over, you just need to place two items in the same location, bam, a box. Now you can pull it with you if you want to, like that, there you go. Or you can even take one out, like that. Done. So for now, let's go build a spear. Also, to let you know, with how the game currently works, if you were to make, let's say, a fire pit, which only requires two wood and two stone, at that point, it would consume the whole box. So make sure that you be very careful with that. So we'll make my spear right over here, which requires five wood and two stone. And if I'm incorrect about anything, please let me know. Here we go. It might be getting dark soon. So there we are. We'll make that right now. And then we'll make the rest of my items in just a moment, or I'll just go over what they cost, and I'll show you what a little village, or not village, but a home will look like for the average caveman. Over here, I'm able to make my bow, which requires five wood and two stone. So there we go. I'll make that next. And really, there's a lot of fun to be had in what is also known as a kidnapping simulator of 2014. And I'll show you what you'll use for that to enact in kidnapping. And then next we have the bolas. Now the bolas is basically cords with weighted stone that you'll twirl and then throw at people, other players, to bind them by their feet. And I have a fun story about how I learned about that when I first played this game. Then finally we have a shield, which is what you would use to block. And right now, and I don't know if they plan on changing that, but you're unable to use it with any other weapon, so you can only use a shield. So let's go over what we have now. We have our axe which will take only, I believe, two hits to kill a player. We have our spear, which will only take one hit, like that. You can also use it to hunt down fish. You need to stay still underwater and then stab a fish, and I'll show you how to do that later. And then over here, we have a bow and arrow. And then finally, the bow loss. All right, let's go over here, where I have the capability to make a lovely torch. A torch is only two wood, which is what you'll need at night or when you go to caves, and caves are very dark. All right, so now that we've made a torch, I should potentially make a fire pit very soon, which I should have right here. There we go. So here's a fire pit, which you do not need three stone for that. You only need two stone and two wood. So I'll take that out, put it over here in case I need it. All right, here's a fire pit now. There we go. Now, whenever you make any items, I believe the entrance, like let's say you were to make a TP, will face wherever you're facing as you build it. So there's my fire pit. If I press E, I can then start fire or inspect it right here. Now it says that, but there's my fire, which you can also use to cook meat on. All right, now here's my TP, which will require 10 wood and four stone. So I'll face this way, that way it'll face the ocean. There we go. And now I have my own home. Now a TP is what you need to respawn instantly. If you don't want to randomly respawn, you need a TP. Now, when you find friends and you find a location that you would like to build at, a TP is the most vital thing that you can build. Otherwise, as I said, when you die, you'll respawn randomly. All right, now over here, I have a totem. Now, as I said, you're able to make a tribe in this game. You can't really do too much with it yet other than just really tracking your other friends and also keeping track of your kills of dinosaurs and humans. So here is my totem. Now, to join one, you would come up to a totem Press E, and then here it would say join tribe or whatever. So for the moment, I'm the clan leader. I'm the tribe leader here. So I press E, inspect, and you can't change the name yet, but I assume later you should be able to. Thou who step upon ye shall face my whistle. <laughs> All right. Now over here, you can build a cage, which is very important in my view. I don't know what they plan on doing with a cage yet, but right now to trap someone, Whenever you rope them by, your, by their feet, and you can drag them like a resource box, if you build a cage on top of them, they'll be trapped inside. So here, let's build my cage, like that. 
and that to me is a very wicked game, but it's quite delightful. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And then I'll probably quickly go over what I've built and basically what else you're able to do. What do I have over here? Just a bunch of random items, I believe. So, yeah. We have the torch, which is two wood. The fire pit, which is two wood and two stone. We have a TP, which is ten wood and four stone. And then what else do we have? Let's see. We have a totem, eight wood, two stone. We have a cage, 15 wood, rope. Now, rope is what you need to replace the bolos. Now, to have that, you need two wood. So let's go over here and just throw it. I have no one to throw it at yet. And there's a little bit of a glitch, but that's because it's an alpha right now. Okay, so I throw it like that. And if there's a player there, he would be roped. If I can find someone, I'll show you how, how that works soon. So now I will go back to my ax and cut down some wood like that. All right, a little bit more. Okay, so over here, I'll be able to make rope, which will refill my bolas. Oh, look at that. At some point, I'll make a guide, too, on how to hunt down and what each dinosaur is about. But for the moment, we'll leave that alone. All right, you can also make arrows, too, to replenish your, your bow. So you can aim it with your left mouse button. And it takes a bit to get used to, but that is how you aim. It's very important, in my view, to use a bow to hunt down a lot of the dinosaurs because they can be pretty deadly. So there you are. And of course the shield, that's right here, and it looks pretty silly. Well, that's all the basics that I have for right now. And in a little while, if I find someone, as I said, I'll show you how to tie them up and potentially murder them. Well, those are the basics of crafting. And if you have any questions down below, make sure you, that you ask me if you would like to. And from that point on, I always appreciate feedback. So thank you for watching, and as always, until then.